So this is the pastel. What's up my Trinbago vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trinbago vibes. You know it's that time of the year, the season of giving, the season of care, a season of joy, a season of festivities. You know, we in the Christmas season. Well, technically it's the rainy season here in Trinidad and Tobago, you know. That's just how the weather is be. Sometimes you get sun, sometimes you get rain you gotta make sure in between but anyway christmas season here in trinidad and tobago and in this one you know this song trini christmas is the best by susan michael well we are literally going to find hopefully hopefully we are going to taste everything in that chorus by the way this is your first time here i'm Rajiv. welcome here we explore everything Trinidad and Tobago and this one we are basically going to support some local peeps right and we're kicking it off at a pop-up market here in the east in the University of the West Indies UB for short St. Augustine campus wow it's been quite a while since I've returned to UE so we are going to the Easterns market Trini Christmas is the best we're gonna see if we can get some bread and ham, pastel, ginger beer, puncha creme, sorrel, yeah, how you do this? There were numerous vendors inside the auditorium and while I was on a mission to get the items from Susan Michael Parang Chun, I kinda got distracted by these locally made earrings by JHL company established in the year 2022. I won't lie, these Christmas earrings looks real best and I'm studying which one to get for Julia. By the way, shout out Take Note TC for these cool stationary stuff and a few other subscribers I met that day. Trust me, I appreciate the support you all give to this channel and especially hitting the like button. Alright, back to the mission. Looks like some local pepper sauce, wine for 40 TT and of course the puncher creme, handmade by Tamika. So this original pumpkin coffee uh, coconut. Coconut. Yeah, okay. Pumpkin right? Yeah, pumpkin is eggless and they do lactose free milk as well by request. If I want to get one of the wines, which one would you all recommend I try as a first time local wine person? Coffee. I would recommend Ariel Black Oh, it's nice. Yeah, so I, I got the wine and I got pecha creme. Coffee pecha creme and cover wine. Handmade by Tamika. So where are you all located? We're located in the west. In the west? In the west. In front. Uh, and say outside like, like these events. How, how are you chill out there? Uh, well, our, our information is on the bottom. Okay. We're on Chutney Daddy um, at Instagram. Okay. And we also at Green Market every week. Our next 100% local, we're going to try some sorrel chutney. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Locally grown, 100% right here. No artificial color or flavor. What's the, what's the prices? 25. Yeah. 45. 65. Alright, uh, I'll take a 25 to go. Because I'm sure I'll like it. We'll see. You know, it's like. Oh, I didn't tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm Tom Run. No. No? This isn't real like Tom Rondo. It's real good. It's real good. Sorrel chutney. It's real, real good. I can eat this with like with cricks and the front set of stuff. Pretty cool. Got the coffee puncha creme, but came across this puncha creme sample box from Flavor Dreamers for just 50 Trinidadian dollars. So we'll be trying this back at the studio. But before that, I gotta show you all the skills of Crafty Sue. Actually, let's chat for, with her for a bit. Hi. I'm just taking to showcase all this local stuff that you do it yourself. Yeah, I do. Um, oh wow. And where we could like to find you like outside these, these craft markets? <laughs> you want? <laughs> oh, you want? <laughs> 100% cotton there. 100% cotton. And the reason you have to use the cotton is because 
If you use the acrylic, they melt. Oh yeah. So this goes like this. And then it also has this. That's, that's kind of cool though. <laughs> so, you know, as I say, because this is my actual pot from home, so you can imagine how hot this gets. When yeah, you yeah, it. yeah. So, I actually have these using at home. That's nice though. And how much do these sell for? I usually sell these for 20 each. Okay. We got this from Crafty Sue. And as for the sorrel, well, we got this sorrel at CU's unique plant shop. What um, businesses is this? Okay, so um, basically, the plant is my daughter's business, yeah. actually. And um, last time we did a, um, a market here, and it was so cold, so I decided to move add some hot drinks this time. And we came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay, so, okay, so. Yeah, so basically, it's, it's, it's a little business, but I am doing any fresh juices. Yeah. Coffee, hot teas, and stuff like that. This is nice, though. This is sorrel from CU's plant. Yeah, I mean, plants, you, you just find them in these kind of markets. The sorrel was refreshing and not overly sweet, which is how I like it. I'll leave a link to all these vendors that I've showcased in this episode in the description below. And yeah, so this is the Eastern Market here in UE, St. Augustine. This is the GFK Auditorium. <laughs> it's weird, I haven't been here any long this while. Uh, I have been in this auditorium a few times. I've done a play in this auditorium. I've had some good memories here when I used to attend UE. Anyway, that was a good haul, boy. Well, I've tried to support as much of the local peeps as I can in this one. Eastern Market. Their theme this, this time, Trinity Christmas is the best. But uh, that sorrel chutney winning, I won't lie. And so what did the coffee punch or cream, at least the one that I had. Or the sample I tried, so that's why I got a bottle of that as well. Yeah, so it's, it's more like an Antisian market. And I just want to show you all what I got for Julia. By, from JL and company that just established themselves local, all local, you know. So, hope Julia enjoys this. Right, so just to recap, right, at Eastern Market, I got the coffee puncher creme from hand made by Tamika. All right, I've got guava wine. She told me she picked these guavas from her backyard, so definitely local. All these, most of these companies, vendors, is from the east of Trinidad. Now, I've sampled all these already and I will tell you all they are quite potent yes they contain alcohol in it this does as well the guava wine yeah so <laughs> the least favorite I can tell you out of all these samples is surprisingly the there's a gentleman's brew of course the chocolate delight and the hazy nutty are my favorite because I kind of like Peanut punch and the hazy nutty kind of reminds me of a peanut punch. This peanut colada, you get that bang of peanut colada, the creme caramel. Well, the caramel, this this is like probably the sweetest one out of this set. Now, mind you, they could make some of these things eggless, they could make some of these things without alcohol. Granted, it would just be a punch, but you could still request such things. But pick up all these local people in this one. Support local, Trin Vega vibe. Right, so that's Flavor Dreamers, Puncher Creme. All right, handmade by Tamika. Over wine, homemade wine, a glass of local wine. This is potent. When I mean potent, it is strong. It's smelling strong. Now, Tamika says it tastes, it's a little bit tart. So let's see. It's not too bad though. You get that gopher. Oh yeah, it's yeah, definitely tarty. It's slightly sour, but overall, not bad. That's a glass of local wine. Now let's head back to the Santa Cruz Road, heading to Green Market. This is their 
the 10th anniversary and they only have market the green market that is every saturday yeah like they started back in 2012 and they have been going every saturday since then so yeah and we are approaching it now i'm sure people will still come out because this is their 10th anniversary uh, but i could just imagine i should have walked with some boots boy so yeah it looks like there's some construction going on and we'll see this is the green market so we knocked off sorry we knocked off puncha creme now we just ginger beer pastel ham and hops i don't know if we're gonna get this here hopefully i'll get something warm as well to drink let's go check it out all right so the green market normally showcases a lot of local produce you might get that every saturday you will get craft and you will get food right and you can't go wrong with that combination make your market check out the different types of trinkets little arty stuff and then you get some food you know yeah oh hey boy rain just decides to come down right heavily at the market i feel kind of bad for a good bit of the vendors probably and showed up yet because of the weather conditions i did get the pastel chicken pastel from pastel and more they have all the christmas stuff that you will get here in trinidad tobago more or less they have black cake they have punch of creme they have sorrel they have pastel i got chicken pastel they are here i think every day until christmas except for the last three days i think they will be at the pop-up shop at the lions club and yes from now until the 25th of december right dice today the time this video is dropped today is november 26 2022 they are going to have so many pop-up shops all throughout Trinidad and tobago i recommend you all if you can because i know things tight right now if you can check them out support all the local people if you could and yeah right now i'm just gonna eat some chicken pastel they have no ginger beer here and the ham and hops that's a failure but we got four to six that end bad at all that is like two thirds of everything so this is the pastel in banana leaf this is yeah i bought two so this is it yeah it's basically like a pie but they're using corn meal instead of flour and chicken on the inside oh this smells good boy i find the filling to what is this out of crust cornmeal well i wouldn't really call this crust but it's easier to understand filling to crust ratio it's a little heavier on the cornmeal side and the filling could i use a little more for me at least but it isn't good though and this was 15 trinidadian dollars right here at the green market but this is pasta and more pastel <laughs> mm. still feeling for some cocoa tea though there's a place nearby Ah, oh, that's some good cocoa tea, Dread. Right around the corner from the green market is Chocolate Bar Cafe. If you want to see more of that, you can check this link out here. Or, you know, don't forget to subscribe to Trinbago Vibes. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Later.